Did you know you can get your own custom email address from Apple for just 99 cents a month? Imagine having your own email like Christian at Crailermade.com directly on your iPhone, conveniently integrated into iCloud, and completely custom. This sounds great, but how does it work? This video is sponsored by Aura, more on that later. Getting a custom email address is a feature of Apple's iCloud Plus subscription. Starting at 99 cents a month, you can get 50 gigabytes of iCloud storage and the ability to connect a domain name to get a custom iCloud email. You've always gotten a free iCloud.com or me.com email address by default when signing up for iCloud. This feature allows you to bring your own domain name to create a custom email like Christian at Crailermade.com. Custom iCloud emails have been available in iCloud Plus since the release of iOS 15 last year. This year, Apple is building on the feature with iOS 16 and allowing you to purchase a brand new domain name for from right in the app. Let me show you how it works. The process is pretty simple. We tried it in the iOS 16 beta, and all you do is open the settings app on your iPhone, go to profile, go to iCloud, go to custom email domain, and from here you can buy a new domain. Apple sells these domains to their partner, which is Cloudflare, and Cloudflare is a DNS management system and they offer enterprise products to companies. Don't let that scare you out of it though, it's actually really simple to purchase a domain name, and the thing I love about Cloudflare is that they don't charge any profit. They sell the domain to you at wholesale pricing, so Cloudflare isn't profiting, Apple's not profiting on the sale of a domain, and it's really simple to get started. Once you purchase your domain, it basically just walks walks you through a setup wizard of choosing your email address. I could say Christian at Crailermade.com, hit next, walk through a couple really easy steps, and your email address is good to go. It functions just like the free iCloud email address you get, and you can access it right in the Apple Mail app. The process is a bit more complicated to add your custom email to a third-party email client. I use an app called Spark, and I had to actually add my free iCloud email and then go in and add my custom email as an alias. Then I could have it send from the alias and my custom email worked as expected, but it was a lot of extra steps and a bit of a headache to get this set up. If you're an iPhone user, but you don't use a Mac, you can check your email on iCloud.com. They have a web client that works pretty well, or you can still use IMAP and SMTP to link your regular iCloud email to any email client. You'll probably just have to add an alias, like I said. I'm also not sure how great the sharing feature is. You're supposed to be able to share your custom domain name with other Apple users so they can create their own email address on that same domain. This is great for families or small businesses. If you wanna have all your employees have their name at yourbusiness.com as the email address, that's what this is for. However, in testing, we weren't able to get this to work. My producer bought a custom domain name and he tried sharing it with my Apple ID. I never got a notification from Apple. I never saw it in the settings app. And to this day, I still don't have my custom email on his shared domain. I will say that you're able to share it directly with any Apple ID and it's not restricted to Apple's family sharing feature. I won't get into the specifics of family sharing, but if you know, you know, family sharing can be a pain in the butt, but thankfully with this feature, you just put in their Apple ID and that's all it takes to share the domain with them. So while Apple makes it easy in iOS 16 to buy a brand new domain name and link it with your custom email, I think this feature is best suited for solo users who prefer using the default Apple Mail app. I think the perfect use case for this feature is those who already subscribe to iCloud Plus, making it effectively free to use. Sure, you do have the extra cost of buying a domain name, but you'd face that cost with any custom email solution. Just note that iCloud email addresses do count against your iCloud storage limit, so emails in your inbox will take up some of your iCloud space. Even if you don't already subscribe to iCloud Plus, subscribing to the base 50 gigabyte plan for 99 cents a month might be worth it for this feature alone. You'll also get the added benefit of additional iCloud storage and access to the private relay feature. But seriously, spending 99 cents per month for custom email hosting by Apple and you can host multiple inboxes on multiple domains? It's a steal! To give you an idea of how great a deal this is, Google offers custom email hosting powered by Gmail. For this, they charge $6 per inbox per month. 
So if you want three inboxes, that's $18 a month spent on email hosting. You could do the same thing with Apple for 99 cents a month. Or take Microsoft email hosting. To get an email powered by Outlook, they charge $4 a month billed annually, and that's just for one inbox. Each additional inbox is another $4 a month. Or you could go to Apple, spend 99 cents a month, and have as many inboxes as you want. I do want to point out that Google and Microsoft's email hosting solutions are definitely superior for corporations. For large entities that need enterprise features, easy email onboarding, and the ability to manage hundreds of email addresses, those solutions are a better fit iCloud custom email hosting is definitely basic, but it's a good fit for someone who wants a custom email address on a budget and you don't need 500 emails. And if you're not an Apple user or you want something that's a better fit for third-party email clients, definitely check out Namecheap's private email hosting. I've used this service for several years. It's just $15 a year for an inbox and it's a decent, reliable option. Just keep in mind that it doesn't have that Apple magic and it's not as easy to set up. I also think there's something to be said for the reliability of an Apple hosted email. It's not some small hosting company and a tech giant like Apple knows how to run email servers. I'm willing to bet that Apple's own employees probably use this same hosting solution. Getting an email of this caliber at such an affordable price honestly blows my mind. Support for custom emails and iCloud Plus is live right now when you connect an existing domain name, and you'll be able to purchase a new domain name through Cloudflare from right in the app, starting with the release of iOS 16 this fall. New domains purchased from the Settings app will be added to your Cloudflare account, and you can use this domain down the road for connecting it to a website or other purposes. I love seeing Apple's commitment to some Simplicity with this feature. It's Apple's attempt at an elegant solution to a complex problem. Another company I love offering simple solutions to complex problems is today's sponsor, Aura. These days, online security is more important than ever, but there's so many steps to it. How do you make sure you stay protected online? That's where Aura comes in. They offer credit monitoring, ID theft protection, a VPN, a password manager, antivirus, everything you need to stay protected online for one affordable price. Get your $1 million of ID theft insurance and a two week free trial at the link in the description below. If you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.